So I teach the Intro to Sustainable Agriculture course, SAG 101, and uh, we've actually retooled it a little bit kind of based on student interests. So we now call it the Introduction to Sustainable Agriculture and Community Food Systems. And I was under the impression coming in that it would be all SAG majors, and it really isn't the case at all. So it might be a half to a third SAG majors and minors, uh, which there are quite a few of, and then we have a number of folks from ag education, uh, natural resources, environmental sciences, and just a whole host of majors, including a number of people from the other side of campus, anthropologists, geographers, random journalism student, things like that. So rather than teaching about the production side, uh, we really get at what's going on in sustainable farming systems through our plates uh, through the food side so we kind of we start very much from a community food systems perspective what does what does a community food system look like in Lexington what are elements of that um, what, what, what's going on at our farmers markets food cooperatives what does the local farm scene look like what are the labels that we're seeing there and then how does that reflect what's actually going on on the farm so when you see a Kentucky proud label or a certified organic label or a local label like what do these kinds of things mean um, and that's been a real way to get students out uh, and engaged in the community um, meeting farmers meeting folks working on the farm and food scene and then exploring these concepts in a way that's going to be relevant to their life, regardless of whether they're going to be a teacher or a farmer or work in a nonprofit or something like that. It's very much part of what we do, is the uh, um, experiential education and getting out with students into communities. Um, and so I was fortunate enough a few years ago to be working with Keiko Tanaka uh, to develop a study abroad to Indonesia. And uh, we took our first round of students in 2013, uh, and it, it was... Uh, I think seven women and one guy, uh, and thankfully he had older sisters. So it ended up being a great mix to go. Uh, and one of the students was one of my advisees, Erica Indiano. And um, Erica was bound and determined to, to go on this, but she had never been on a plane before, ever. Not a domestic flight, nothing. And this is a 40 plus hour trip with a really long flight from Chicago to East Asia, to Hong Kong, I think, uh, and then Hong Kong through to, um, to Jakarta. So. Uh, one of my most memorable experiences was sitting next to Erica on the plane and just, you know, just trying to talk her through the whole, just trying to play it cool as her knuckles are just absolutely, you know, just white as we're flying over there. But over the course of, she's very, very much a people oriented person. Uh, and, and once we got over there and got settled, um, she had kind of been through the initial shock of that kind of travel and the huge, you know, jet lag and those kinds of things. Um, the Indo our Indonesian uh, friends and colleagues are very much about bringing us into the Indonesian culture. So um, a big, um, one of the big uh, activities that we do is karaoke at welcome dinners and things. Uh, and so one of my memories is like this juxtaposition of Erica white knuckled on the way over there with her just belting out karaoke at this Indonesian restaurant with a, with a couple of the other students on the, on the trip as well as Indonesian students. So I have this kind of mental picture of these two things and it's a, I think it's a, it's a it captures, I think, the trepidation, but also the excitement um, yeah. that brings students uh, through that course. Because we're, we're getting great support in the college um, to help get the message out and, you know, to tell our story for who we are. Um, and so I would hope that we, uh, more people know. Uh, they don't say, oh, I've never, this is, I love, would have loved this major and I didn't know about it. I, I'm hoping that we're going to hear less of that and more folks coming through the door say, I heard about this great major and I just really want to be a part of it. So I'm, I'm hoping that in our next few years together that, um, that we can just increase the power of our storytelling. Yeah. Good.